Hey, hey, hey guys. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Guntis. I hope you're all doing great. In this video, we're gonna review the Jazz Miner X16P, the most efficient ad hash miner currently in the market. We got that unit in there a few days ago. Um, you can compare this miner to a Tesla in the car market. It is very efficient. And uh, so we're gonna go a full performance test what kind of performance does the miner get, what kind of coins you can mine, what kind of profitability, is this miner a risky investment and should you buy it. I can tell you a secret already, this miner is more efficient than it was advertised on the pre-sale. It was advertised as 5,800 mega hash with 1,900 watts power usage and we received the unit and it's working at 6,000 mega hash and also uses a little bit less power 1800 watts so i'm gonna take you to the computer now let's do this so you can see i have now logged into the miner i used the advanced ip scanner to log in and you can see that the performance i get average hash rate is 6000 mega hash for one hour um the fan speed is running at 40 percent the temperatures on the chips are only 30 degrees Celsius, I think it's very low. To set up this miner, it's quite easy. Uh, the same way as most of the other ASIC miners, you just uh, copy the pool URL and insert the address. Then there's a few options. You can choose to mine ETC or you can mine dual coin with Zilliqa. And then there's work modes also available, balance, performance, and efficiency modes. This is overclock setting for the miner. You can overclock this up to 7,000 mega hash. So you can see that firstly, when it was released, it was advertised with a 40 decibels and the power usage was 1,900 watts. But actually what we are getting is about 60 decibels um, noise. This is probably, uh, we can reduce this by running efficient mode. And you can see that it was, uh, Firstly, released with a 5,800 mega hash performance. So we are getting better performance than firstly advertised, which is great. Um, you can see also on the pool, the hash rate is recorded exactly the same as in the miner. So all the data matches. Um, the profitability, it's currently yielding about um, 17 US dollars a day. Um, so it's roughly 6,000 US dollars a year in revenue and uh, after 12 cents of kilowatt hour it's about 5,000 US dollars in profits which is still good um, if we're looking at this for long term and no other new devices. If you compare this for Bitmain Unminer E Pro which is a lot cheaper um, the ROI if you have 12 cents in a kilowatt hour is much faster than the uh, ROI on the um, Jazz Miner X16P um, just because uh, the miner is much more cheaper. So the E9 Pro runs on 2200 mega hash and the performance is 3680, sorry, th performance 3680 mega hash and uses 2000 watts. Another, another thing what I want to point out that JazzMiner loves to be late with their deliveries. So it's the same way as you ordered a calendar online, but it arrives late. And now you will be getting a days from the future. I talk about the next uh, level shipping delays. This miner is not the most profitable miner currently in the market, but it's certainly the most efficient at hash miner. It's still very high risk reward miner just because there's not many large market cap coins to mine um, the only one is ethereum classic and the zilliqa are the top biggest coins what to mine but that being said if ethereum classic goes back to the previous all-time highs which was 120 us dollars then you can see the profitability increase for about six times but you know, of course, you, again, you are betting on the future. But sometimes betting on the future is good because the equipment prices are much cheaper than when they are when the profitability returns. There is, of course, some alternative miners, which for some people might seem much better choice, like Unminer E9 Pro, 
which is not as efficient as the Jazz Miner, but it's certainly very good price tag. So if your power is cheaper, let's say under 12 cents, like I showed in this video, the faster ROI will be, of course, or Unminer E9 Pro. So it makes sense to buy a cheaper version. But there's also some benefits to Jazzminer, of course, efficiency, which you have, a, if you have a, a higher price tag, and also the, the miner is much more quiet. You can run inside your house, inside your office. So take what you want from this information and judge if you need this device. I hope this video was helpful to you. Mine hardcore or don't mine at all.